Hello and welcome everyone to the Polity Primer series of Just AIS. My name is Pragya and in today's insightful episode of Polity Primer, we are going to discuss yet another important constitutional amendment act and we are also going to try to find an answer to a very important question that can India cede its own territory to any foreign nation or not. The title of our today's discussion is the Ninth Constitutional Amendment Act explained. In this discussion, we are firstly going to study about what is the Ninth Constitutional Amendment Act. Then we are also going to study about the historical background behind this act or the enactment of this act into our Indian Constitution. Then we are also going to analyze its key provisions and then we are also going to study about the ruling of the Honorable Supreme Court of India in the landmark case of re Berubari Union and lastly we will see some of the questions for your prelims examination and a question for your mains examination. So, if I talk about the purpose behind having this 9th constitutional amendment act, the significance and importance of this constitutional amendment act. So, let me explain it to you. After we got independence, there were some of the border disputes between the government of India and the government of Pakistan and the government of India and government of Pakistan signed three agreements in the year 1958, 1959 and 1960 and these agreements were related to the border disputes pertaining to some Indian states such as Assam, West Bengal, Punjab and Union Territory of Tripura. At that point of time, Tripura was a Union Territory and it was not a state. So, basically, the purpose of 9th Constitutional Amendment Act was to give effect to these agreements that were ongoing between the Government of India and Government of Pakistan to resolve all of the border disputes. So, if I talk about the historical background behind the enactment of this 9th Constitutional Amendment Act. So, there was this Nehru Noon Agreement. The agreement between the two nations that is India and Pakistan was signed in 1958 by Prime Ministers Jawaharlal Nehru of India and Firoz Khan Noon on Pakistan. India and Pakistan agreed to exchange the territories. So, yes. India is allowed to cede its own territory to a foreign nation as I have asked this question in the beginning of my today's discussion. So, yes, it was allowed and by this agreement dated 1958, the government of India was ceding some of its territories to the government of Pakistan. The Berubari Union 12, that is a small border area, was to be divided horizontally. Enclave for enclave must be completed in order to prevent any territorial loss. So, basically they were ceding this Indian territory to the government of Pakistan. Okay, moving forward. Even after India and Pakistan signed the Nehru Noon Agreement, the West Bengal government was against dividing the area of the Berubari Union and consequently this case reached before the Honorable Supreme Court of India by a presidential reference under Article 143 of our Indian Constitution. Article 143 of the Indian Constitution. And the case name was Re Berubari Union case. And it was a special reference one of the year 1960. And we are going to study about it in our further slides what the Supreme Court ruled in this case. But before that, let us examine the key provisions of the 9th Constitutional Amendment Act. So, as we are discussing that, yes, there were ongoing agreements between the government of India and the government of Pakistan to resolve the border dispute and the ninth amendment of the Indian constitution provides for the appointment of a date by the central government 
notified in the official gadget for the transfer of territories to Pakistan as demarcated and referred to in the first schedule. So basically, it provided for an appointment of date for such transfer to come into existence. Moving forward. The amendment defines the appointed day, which is the date of the transfer of the territories to Pakistan. Different dates may be appointed for the transfer of territories from different states and the Union Territory of Tripura. The amendment defines the transfer territory, which refers to the territories comprised in the Indo-Pakistan agreements and demarcated for the purpose of being transferred to Pakistan. So basically the whole purpose of bringing this constitutional amendment was to cede Indian territories to the government of Pakistan as per the agreement signed between our Prime Ministers that is Jawaharlal Nehru and the Prime Minister of Pakistan. Okay, moving forward. Now let us discuss what the Supreme Court ruled in the V. Berubari Union case because we have seen that yes the case refer, was referred to the Honorable Supreme Court of India under Article 143 by the President of India. Let me know what does Article 143 talk about okay, in the comment section below. So, in relation to the preamble of India, the Supreme Court further concluded that the preamble is not a part of the Indian constitution and this has been asked in various competitive examinations in which uh, case the Supreme Court has ruled that preamble is not a part of the Indian constitution. So, it was the re Berubari union case. In this case, the Supreme Court held that preamble is explicitly not a part of our Indian constitution but can be used as a guiding light for interpreting the constitution. And in relation to article 1, clause 3, sub clause C, the Supreme Court held that this article does not grant authority to India to acquire territories. It makes a provision for the absorption and integration of foreign territories that may be acquired by the Indian Union, but it does not give any authority to the government of India to cede its territory to a foreign nation. Moving forward, in relation to Article 368, which deals with the amendment of the Indian Constitution, it was decided that amending Article 1 is under the purview of the power to amend our Constitution. Hence, it would be logically include the power to cede national territory in favor of a foreign state. So basically, Indian government is allowed to cede its own territory to a foreign state, but it can only be done by bringing a constitutional amendment under Article 368 of our Indian constitution. And that is why the ninth constitutional amendment was enacted by our Indian parliament so that the border dispute can be resolved between India and Pakistan and the enclave to enclave transfer could take effect. This means that the Nehru Noon Agreement is subjected to the approval of both houses of the parliament and definitely a territory transfer can only be done by bringing a constitutional amendment. So, this was the basic ruling of the Honorable Supreme Court of India in the V. Berubari Union case. So, with this we come to a conclusion of our today's discussion. We have seen what was the ninth constitutional all about. Then we have also seen its historical background. We have also analyzed its key provisions and we have also seen the ruling of the Honorable Supreme Court of India in the V. Berubari Union case. Now, let us uh, see a practice question for your prelims examination. So, in the previous session, this was the question which I asked you and uh, said that could drop your answers in the comment box below. So, the question was consider the following statements. See your statement number one was. 7th Constitutional Amendment Act abolished the existing classification of states into 4th categories that is Part A, Part B, Part C and Part D states and reorganized them into 14 states and 6 union territories. Your statement number 2 was it provided for the establishment of a common high court for 2 or more states. So, which of these statements given above is are correct? Your options were option A was 1 only, option B was 2 only. Option C was both 1 and 2 and option D was none of the above. So, the correct answer of this question is going to be option C. Both statements 1 and 2 are correct. 
Now let us discuss a some of the practice questions from today's session. So the question is, which of the following statements is true regarding the 9th Constitutional Amendment Act? The option is, uh, it upheld the validity of the Constitutional 9th Amendment Act of 1960. The option B is, it granted state governments more autonomy in the matters of taxation and revenue generation. The option C is, established a new system of governance with a bicameral legislature at the state level. And your option D is, it amended the process of appointment and removal of the Supreme Court judges. So, I am revealing the correct answer for you. The correct answer will be option A. It upheld the validity of the Constitutional 9th Amendment Act of 1960. Let us discuss one more question. The question is, preamble is not a part of the Indian Constitution. This was held in the case of option A, Reberubari Union case. Option B, I.C. Golaknath was a state of Punjab case. Then option C, Keshwananda Bharti case. And option D is none of the above cases. So kindly drop your answers in the comment box below. Now let us discuss a practice question for your mains examination. So the question is, discuss the significance of 9th Constitutional Amendment Act. You will write about the historical background, the signing of agreements between the government of India and the government of Pakistan. And you will also frame this question that whether Indian government is allowed to cede its own territory to a foreign nation. So, yes, they are allowed to do so, but only through a constitutional amendment by bringing a, an amendment in the Indian constitution under article 368. Then you will write that, yes, this amendment act was finally validated in the Supreme Court ruling of Reberubari Union case. So, basically, it felicitated the transfer of certain territories from the government of India to the government of Pakistan. And it is very significant in nature because for the first time to resolve border disputes, legal methods were used, legal techniques were used. So, this uh, is the significance of the 9th Constitutional Amendment Act and you can conclude very holistically. I hope this session was insightful for you. If you have any feedback regarding this session, you can give it in the comment box below. If you like the today's uh, discussion and found it to be helpful, kindly like the video and subscribe to our channel for more such updates. And if you want a PDF of this session, you can join the Telegram channel and you will get the PDF. The link of the Telegram channel is given in the description box below. Thank you. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe. And do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.